So yeah, Google is now all set to show off the innovation. They have been working for a few years now. Pixel 9 Pro is gonna be the best effort from Google you have ever seen. So last time we heard that the standard Pixel 9 is like a mid-end flagship with low resolution display, dual cameras and a flash. The Pixel 9 Pro slash XL gets triple cameras, thermometer to scan body heat and a high resolution display with M14 Samsung panel which is gonna be brighter and power efficient. This is gonna be an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which is fast and secure and the bezels are gonna be thinner than the one in the Pixel 8. So 10 on 10 for its display design and innovation. Some renders coming in from on leaks and these are all the color options of the Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL. So the Pixel 9 is on the glossy and vibrant side, got pinkish, greenish, black and white color options. The 9 Pro is less vibrant and has matte frosted finish. This is the Pixel 9 Pro Fold with squarish module and a better design with no less side bezel in obsidian and porcelain. The Fold 9 Pro got a covered screen of 6.3 inch and 8 inch when unfolded. This Tensor G4 for all, 16 gigs of max out RAM, 42 megapixel selfie shooter in the 9 Pro, 10 megapixel in standard 9 and fold, and then there are dual rear cameras in the standard 9, triple cameras in the 9 Pro and fold. So Pro gets an additional periscope shooter and this thermometer in the 9 Pro slash XL. Some AI features coming alongside the Pixel 9 series and they are not even close to what the iOS 18 is gonna offer. Like there is no text to image or math calculator. But yes, Google is adding some basic new features like can suggest you recipe based on what's in your fridge or can add you in a group photo. So there's some basic Gemini features but we may see some exciting announcement on August 13 during the launch. Some new live images of the pink color Pixel 9 Pro XL coming in. This color is in light shade, got matte finish compared to the vibrant and glossy finish we saw of Pixel 9 pink variant. So yes, it's not that vibrant but I like how we have more colors than black and white. There are no two less bezels. There is a hole punch selfie shooter and confirms a 256 gig variant with 16 gigs LPDDR5 RAM. This is the GUI G-Pods Pro and G-Pods Plus. So the G-Pods Pro are like high-end TWS earbuds with a premium design, sound isolation tech and touch sensitive gesture control. The sound output is just amazing and this works 20 hours with a full charge and 2 hours for 10 minute charge. The G-Pods Plus is an affordable variant with amazing sound output, 12 plus hours of playtime and touch sensitive gesture control. So both these are amazing Bluetooth power TWS, you guys can check link in the description to get yours. This is gonna be Tensor G4 which no doubt is less powerful than Qualcomm 8 Gen 3 but is still gonna be decently powerful. Best part is Tensor G4 is gonna use all new FOWLP fan out wafer level packaging which is gonna help in better cooling and better heat dissipation. So I'm saying this again, the Tensor G4 is gonna be a huge jump both in terms of power and power efficiency. So wait for it. There's no confirmation on the pricing but I think we may see similar price like last year. Thanks guys for watching, make sure to like, share, subscribe. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.